Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's virtual Lunch and Learn. Uh, today, we're talking about Color Guard's Patriot Post Mount System. Um, my name is Eric. I'm the moderator and cameraman, so after this, you're not going to see me at all. Uh, but again, I am joined by Kyle. Kyle is our resident installation expert here at Color Guard and the star of our Color Guard installation videos, which you can see online at colorguardrailing.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so he's going to be leading the discussion today. Um, we're also, as I mentioned before, in case you guys are just joining, we're going to be answering your questions about the Patriot post mount system. So we'll be answering them at the end, post them in chat or in Q&A, and we will get to them towards the end of the presentation. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Well, let's get this thing right, started. Go. All right. So what do we got here? So today we're going to be talking about Color Guard's Patriot post mount system. Um, as you can see on the packaging, red, white, and blue, we're really patriotic with our Patriot post. One thing I want to cue in on, made in the USA. So this is something we take a lot of pride in. It's on all of our packaging. Um, it, it's it's uh, something that um, is, a, is a benchmark for quality. So um, it's made right here in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin, right at our facility here. And uh, we're, we're proud to say that it's made in the USA. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this, show you everything that comes in the box, and then I'm going to kind of compare it to a couple of our uh, competitors and then show you some additional options that come along with it. We'll do an installation, uh, go over some other technical aspects, and then uh, we'll get to Q&As at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and open this up for you. Yeah, the way it's boxed is something you guys take pride in too, right? Yes. What you're going to get in the box is a package of hardware. It's going to have all the screws to attach your fillers. It's going to have uh, stainless steel leveling screws. And you can't quite see it in there, that little black piece that's a steel plate. That's going to be for leveling it. Nice and easy. So what you get in the box is your hardware kit, four dense vinyl fillers, and a coated steel post with a welded base. This post is code tested. Uh, the code testing documents are on our website. It does pull to 500 pounds of force. And uh, so we'll get, we'll get started here in just a second. So I lay this out kind of next to our competition here. So um, here's our post, code tested. Uh, vinyl fillers, hardware kit. Uh, this is a less expensive option than ours. Uh, it pulls to less uh, less poundage uh, than ours. This is uh, brand A. And as you can see, this is just a galvanized post with a welded base. Uh, no leveling plate underneath here. In the hardware pack, all you get is one screw. And you get vinyl fillers that kind of move into place, but doesn't really attach. And, uh, and there's that. So um, that's a less expensive option. Moving over to uh, uh, brand B here. This is a more expensive option than our post. It's got a powder coated, uh, what appears to be uh, aluminum post, aluminum fillers that are, you know, uh, mill finish, which I'm not quite sure how they stand up to corrosion. And then in the hardware kit, you get a, a whole bunch of screws and these really thin leveling shims. So what, what you're gonna level with that, I'm really not sure, but, um, but there's that. So, um, and your leveling plate is that right there. Is this right here. So yeah. robust. Um, like I said, with those, maybe you want to stick some nickels underneath there or something, but, but, uh, yeah, that, that little shim there isn't going to get it done. So, um, ours is, ours is a robust post, pulls the 500 pounds of force and, uh, comes with, comes with dense vinyl fillers, uh, to give you nice support to mount your rail brackets too. So, um, the post that I unboxed is our four by four post comes, uh, as you, as you see it here, we also have a couple other options. We have a five by five post that comes with these, uh, thicker fillers that build it out to a five by five. And then we also offer a six by six kit. So what you do with this is you see these white fillers here. Uh, those come with, uh, in a kit four to a kit with um, longer screws. So you'll buy the four by four Patriot post mount 
And then you'll buy this additional six by six kit to build it out to your six by six dimension. Speaking of building it out, we should probably show them how to build one of these. Yes, yes. So next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to assemble one. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, figure out where you wanna mount it. So um, the main reason you're gonna be buying one of these posts is because um, you have a concrete uh, pad or a concrete stairs, or um, you have a deck that doesn't have a treated post running all the way through the framework. Okay, so this is gonna be, uh, give you a structural place to mount a post and, uh, and, a, and a solid, a solid uh, mounting point for your railing. Okay, so once we have our location figured out, we're gonna set our plate down. Now, um, if you're on composite decking, uh, you can pre-drill. We, um, we do suggest that it probably makes it a little bit easier but depending on your material, that's that's uh, at your discretion. Um, but it will make it easier to run your leg screws through. We do not recommend a leg screw, um, but we do suggest uh, three sixteen size and at least three and a half inches in length. Okay. Uh, we don't send uh, mounting screws along, leg screws along, because we don't know what your substrate is that you're going into. If it's going to be wood or concrete, uh, things like that. So we don't provide the fastener at this time. Right. Um, just another quick note here, when you're mounting this, especially if you're on a wood substrate or on, a, on mounting it on your deck, you're going to want to mount it to something solid underneath there. So let's pretend that these are your deck joists. You're not going to want to mount it to your deck board only. Now you see your deck board is only this thick. And when it's spaced in between here, if somebody starts leaning on that post, there's, there's not a lot of material here to hold that post in place. So in order to get the, the proper strength from that, you're gonna to wanna to build out your joist with uh, two bys and run it the, uh, span the width of the joist, mount it to the joist and then mount them to each other. And that'll give you a solid place to mount your post, okay? So we have that underneath here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, look to start mounting it. So we're gonna get our self-adjusting screws put into place here. Those go in pretty easy. Of course, during practice, I said that that it wouldn't right in. <laughs> that was operator error. Yeah, we'll blame it on that. All right, but like you see, the like like you can see, they they go in pretty easily. And so the tools that you'll need to install these are a driver for whatever leg screws you have. Okay, in this case, uh, we're using a T thirty bit. Um, a uh, three ace driver for the uh, filler screws, a um, half inch wrench for adjusting the leveling screws, and you can use a socket as well. And last but not least, a corner leveling uh, tool to make sure that your installation is level. So we're gonna go ahead, now that we've got our leveling screws in, we're gonna go ahead and set this in. drive our screws in. We're not going to tighten them up all the way. What's that? We're going to snug these up just, just enough to, to be snug. And then we are going to uh, check the level and then make final adjustments and then tighten it up. I suppose you can't level it if it's tightened up. Correct. Yep. So we've got a little bit of movement in there. We're going to take a look at our level here. And that looks pretty darn good. Just a slight adjustment needed. Okay. A turn or two of the check yep. it again. And that looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. I'm gonna snug these up. And we will check one more time. Perfect. Just what I like to see if you wanna zoom in on that. Sure. Nice and level on both sides. Yep. 
Perfect. So now that we have that accomplished, we can go ahead and switch bits and put in our fillers. Okay. So these fillers, what are they made out of again? They are made out of vinyl PVC. And they're gonna give you a nice solid attaching point for your rail brackets. And the top ones, um, not to get ahead of you, they're adjustable, right? For that is correct. Brand. I will illustrate that in just a second here. But that is another key component of our, our post. Some of the offer that option as well. But um, you can install these either direction. So the SPB 44 BPL, the Patriot Post, mm -hmm. comes with these fillers. You can flip them up for 42 inch railing or flip them down for 36 inch railing. Okay. So we're just going to install the 36 today. Nice close up of that. And your post is installed. That's it, huh? Just that easy. So um, in addition to um, our railing, we will also demonstrate how this works with other companies' railing. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you it fits with our vinyl post sleeve, four by four, like so. Okay. okay, so it fits our vinyl sleeve. A lot of the questions that we get is if it fit our aluminum sleeve. Yep. And the answer is yes. Okay. And we're one of the very few companies that actually offers aluminum sleeve. Just want to throw that in there. And there's a, but wait, there's more moment coming up. But wait, there's more. <laughs> it also fits our competitors' composite sleeves as well. And this is why uh, this product is one of our single top selling SKUs because it's so versatile and it can be used with. Uh, not only our railing, but other companies' railing as well. So it's a price-friendly option, um, gives you a lot more versatility, and uh, it's a lot more robust post. Right. Okay. So I helped a buddy of mine put a deck up, and he used uh, four by fours instead of something like this. Why is this better than that? The the reason why this is a better option than a four by four post, and a lot of you might be familiar with um, uh, recent. Uh, economical changes, uh, treated lumber was really hard to get. So when you finally did get it, it was really wet. And then it was installed right away. As it dries out, those boards, those, those posts tend to warp and twist and turn. And um, in turn, that also uh, causes issues for your railing. So these posts, once they're, once they're installed, they're not moving. They're not twisting. They're not anything. They're just staying right where you put them. So um, uh, that's that's really a key component to that, especially in, in now with the cost of lumber, um, it's pretty pretty close to equal, if not more, than a than a Patriot post. So you're really saving money and headache in the long run by using these. Uh, there's so many different uses and uh, locations where you can mount these. So um, yeah, even if you even if you um, have some have some wood supports, you don't have to run your post all the way through the deck. You can mount this in the corners instead. Um, you can use these all across your deck if you'd like. It's not just if you don't have a wood post running through, you can run it throughout. So um, so the other thing is um, with the leveling, that goes to 11 degrees, right? That's, that's correct. 11 degrees of adjustment in any direction. So if, even if your porch or your deck or whatever, whatever you're installing this on, your concrete is pitched for drainage, you're using a handicap ramp, things like that, um, this is perfect for that installation as well. Okay, and now that we have this this up here and you can kind of see what this is, let's look again at this six by six one. And so you can actually see that this these white parts here attached to the same thing that he's just installed. Yes, so these are sold separately, but they'll attach over it with longer screws. So you saw how simple that installation was. Um, it's basically the same, same type of installation for those, except you're fitting filler over filler onto the poles. Now, another option we offer is what we call our SPB kit. So um, let's say you've got your blocking, uh, but um, you want to you 
Mounties threw that blocking to a plate underneath there for, for a little bit uh, stronger installation. Um, maybe your code requires it, maybe, uh, maybe something else along those lines, personal preference, things like that. Um, what you can do is again, you choose where you want to mount the post, make sure you have some blocking underneath there. And then you're going to drill through your, through your blocking. Okay. Once you do that, you buy that SPB kit and it comes with these four bolts, washer and a nut. And that's going to go through your substrate, through your plate, through your substrate. And then, I'm sorry, your plate's going to be on the bottom. So it's going to be your, your Patriot's going to be up on top here. So your Patriot will be up here. You're going to put it through your Patriot, through your substrate, and into your black, into your uh, plate underneath here. And then the, the washer and the nut go on underneath, and that secures your installation that way. So you're actually bolting it through your blocking. For an even more secure installation. So the other one is rated to 500. Does that increase this by a couple hundred or? Um, that will increase it. I don't have an exact number for you on what that will increase it to. We, we don't have code testing on that application at this time. Okay. Um, but that is in the works. Um, so one question that we got is. Well, that we could be can be installed in the composite decking. Well, we just did that, yeah. so uh, that's a that's a good question. Uh -huh. um, so yes, it can be installed in the composite decking, but again, the, the key component to that is you don't want to mount this only to your deck board. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it is a solid deck board, but there's no there's no load rating on this, so you're you're relying on only this for your structure. You don't want that. You want you want something solid to mount that into, whether you're using the SPB kit. Or you're using leg screws, one or the other, but you want something solid to attach that to. All right. So another one that came in, which I think that we talked a little bit about, but it's always good to go over this stuff again. Uh, do I need a different filler for the 44 inch sleeve? Ah, no. So like I like I mentioned earlier, um, all you're gonna do is if you want to install a 44, you just flip these up. So to install a 44, so you're on the job site. You realize you had the wrong uh, wrong size. It takes about a minute to, to flip that around. And there you go. All right. Well, you can't do that with a wood filler. Easy to install. Oh. One of the key components to any color guard product. I suppose we're going to give you. A gift today, and that gift is some additional time to do your job. Um, thank you, Kyle, for showing us everything that we needed to know about the Patriot Post Mount. Um, and thank you guys for watching today. Hope you learned something. And always, you can find out more information on colorguardrailing.com and get product information, installation videos, and more. And we're also on the normal social media channels too. You can find us there. All right, Kyle, thanks again. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, place. everyone. You guys have yourself a great day and keep on building.